probably i know certainly uh, everyone uh, who has come here to the presentation are prepared for the three day jam packed microsoft integration updates uh, now i welcome uh, sarvan kumar founder of oi.co and the initiator of this yearly conference for the welcome sarvan you can go ahead thanks mohit okay i think it's uh, first of all welcome all all of you to integrate 2021 it's kind of a strange feeling like uh, to do this session remotely sitting on your uh, uh, study room and presenting it's one of the biggest uh, conference uh, uh, so far there like uh, uh, it's about uh, 1200 employees overall uh, but it's uh, it's a bit strange to you know like uh, you need to talk to yourself but i'm assuming like a lot of people uh, around the world are uh, are uh, listening and uh, watching to this sessions and again you know since it's a being a worldwide event uh, some of you might be tuned in like early morning for you and some of you are uh, in europe lucky enough to be in europe uh, good morning everybody and there's a good evening from uh, people in australia and uh, and, uh, and in new zealand okay so i think it's a few housekeeping stuff if it's a live event we would have given you some few instructions but here it's all social channels so integrate 2020 2021 is the hashtag we are going to use for the the entire conference so please feel free to use it if you are in those social channels any anything like linkedin or a, a twitter or facebook wherever you are uh, please feel free to use this uh, use this uh, hashtag um just a brief introduction about uh, about myself my name is uh, saravan kumar and i'm the founder and ceo of covid.co uh, so the company who is the owner of all the products what you have seen initially we started the company as vista uh, 360 that's how people know us for a very long time but a couple of years ago after being a multi product company we renamed ourselves to covid.co as a new identity new brand and uh, and and the original uh, founder of the of the company and also i'm coming more from a technical background before starting vista uh, 360 i worked as a consultant predominantly on the integration space i spent nearly 10 over 10 years uh, between 2000 and uh, 2010 as a vista server consultant working on various uh, uh, projects in in uk and that is where the original idea of vista uh, 360 came after seeing people struggling with uh, some of the operations monitoring and analytics uh, requirement of uh, this stuff server and i'm also a microsoft mvp uh, since 2007 uh, i'm an mvp and I still hold the title uh, that, that, that just shows like you know i'm more inclined towards uh, the technical side of things even within the organization i'm more passionate towards technology and uh, my uh, general inclination will be more towards the uh, the technology and uh, uh, interest towards uh, learning uh, learning on that on that on that direction so who we are like you know i know this i just looked at the entire uh, uh, the attendee list and some of you are really committed and been uh, uh, attending this event and know us for a very long time but we also saw a lot of new people Uh, over 400 of them are fairly new to the uh, new to the integrate that just shows you know the sets is the uh, the azure integration and generally the microsoft integration space is penetrating and a lot of new interest are constantly coming so i just want to give a brief background about who we are and because it may be a big surprise for a lot of you this so who's this company covid.co and what we are doing so we are a, a multi product company and predominantly like uh, we are focused on building products on the microsoft integration uh, space so as i mentioned we originally started with this 360 up to 2016 that was the only product in the company and even the name of the company was this 360 at that time and after that we saw opportunities or similar challenges what we have seen in this 360 with the cloud and for people from the integration background moving from slowly from a desktop server into into the cloud or building some kind of hybrid solution between desktop and uh, and uh, and and the azure we saw opportunities and similar kind of challenges and that's when we started uh, serverless 360 and later we built atomic scope which is a uh, equivalent of uh, business activity monitoring for a hybrid world and uh, last year we acquired cerebrata so people coming more from uh, azure background you might have uh, 
uh, known Cerebretta for their uh, the st the storage uh, desktop based applications for uh, Storage Explorer and Service Bus and those kind of things. So we acquired the company uh, last year. And these four products are very tightly uh, connected. They are in a similar domain. They, they do stuff related to Microsoft integration or Azure. And out, out of the blue, we have another product called Document 360, which we don't talk too much to the, the integration community, but that is also one of our fastest growing product. And that product was born out of our own frustration. Like Kevin, we, it's a knowledge-based product for you to, you know, like if you want to document a public facing or a private documentation, so that is the scope of Document 360. It came out of our own frustration building uh, knowledge bases for the, for the enterprise uh, products. So as a team, uh, we have grown uh, to close to 200 people now. So it's 180 plus uh, people. So this is, a ten, this is our uh, 10 years uh, journey. Uh, it started off as a one person, it was me uh, back in 2010. And then we organically grown uh, stage by stage, and now we are about 180 uh, plus people across all the all the product. We also have about 1,500 customers across uh, 75 plus uh, countries. Um, you, know, you you might recognize a lot of the brands coming from you know like wherever you are. Like uh, we got majority of the Fortune 100 companies, and due to the nature of the products, what we are building. Uh, we also have the, the type of customers we are acquiring are also enterprise customers, and uh, so we have about fifteen hundred customers uh, across the across the board. So I'd also like to give a brief intro about you know what is this integrate, how did it all started, and why we we built this uh, integrate uh, uh, conference. Having you know, given there are a lot of conferences going on, like why there is another conference uh, uh, for for integration. So the original event was started back in 2012, uh, two years after starting the company, like uh, 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 the Integrate was, uh, was started. Even before that, like I mentioned, I'm a Microsoft MVP, and we used to run some small user groups, like evening meetups and user groups and uh, one day uh, conferences, that kind of thing. And in 2012, a group of friends, actually, they're still you know, very, very close to me, like uh, Steve Jan, Sandro, uh, Todd, and uh, Dino. We thought we'll we'll expand that scope and do something slightly bigger, uh, and that's how the original uh, conference was started. That time it was originally focused primarily on desktop server for the first uh, three three years. I will say it started as a one day conference, and then it we moved into two days conference, and then finally it, it went into three days conference in the current form uh, uh, as as it is today. Uh, so year on year, the event has grown into, you know, like a really a, a one of the key event for Microsoft integration focused uh, technology. Like uh, uh, we, we, we kept our focus very uh, narrow because we thought, you know, that this scope itself is uh, really big enough to keep, keep our focus on. So we focus on, you know, like there are a lot of people out there who, 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 when it comes to integration, it's always behind the scene, right? You really don't see, even large organization, you really don't know who's actually working on that core integration or connecting systems together in the company. So that is where we really wanted to focus on. And there's a major part, you know, people, so, you know, sometimes it's underestimated the importance of uh, having a core integration uh, in the company. Every company needs one, but a lot of times it's all invisible and behind the scenes. And hence, we really wanted to focus on, on this particular uh, technology. Now it's a uh, before it used to be only this stock server, but now we are talking about at least like uh, 10 different technology uh, stack across Azure and Vistock uh, uh, and hybrid to cover the entire inter integration spectrum. And that is where we are focused on. As I mentioned, we started as a one day conference and now year on year, like uh, the, the, the number of attendees uh, gradually uh, increased. Uh, originally it was about 50 people and uh, today you know today's uh, uh, this year 2021 is about 1200 plus attendees uh, across the across the world uh, it, being remote also uh, helped to reach a wider audience uh, typically we uh, run this event as a as a in person event in london uh, for 3 days uh, where we typically have about 400 to 500 attendees but uh, last year we made the decision the last minute to go hybrid, uh, last minute to go uh, uh, as a remote event, but mainly due that's when the COVID thing started and between March and June we struggled and finally we, we decided the last minute to go 
remote, but this year, since we planned from day one, it's going to be a remote event that helped us to focus quite a lot on uh, the marketing side and uh, uh, getting the message to a wider audience. And uh, and uh, and really happy to see about uh, 1200 plus attendees uh, attending uh, 2021 uh, event. And this is uh, definitely you know, the, one of the biggest uh, micro integration focused event in the world now. And of course, you know, we really want to share some of the nice memories, you know, it's always uh, when it used to be an in-person event, uh, it's always like a fun place to, you know, like a, a place to meet all those people whom you know in uh, through emails and uh, social media to meet together. And we always had a lot of fun, like, you know, some of the pictures are from Microsoft offices uh, in Redmond. Uh, we also did uh, uh, integrate in a multi-country, like we have done uh, Australia, we have done US used to be like our every alternate year, we used to do US focused event. Uh, so we all have like a really good uh, memories of different venues and a good time of the year in London to spend. So, you know, it's a nice to see like uh, hopefully next year, uh, things should be back and uh, we can bring it as an in-person event. There's definitely value of uh, meeting people and uh, connecting. So hopefully we should uh, get it back uh, back uh, next year. And I also wanted to thank a lot of people because it's not just our own effort. Uh, primarily Microsoft, right from the beginning days uh, of, uh, of Integrate Event, Microsoft is one of our key supporters. You know, definitely without them, we can't run this uh, event because uh, the main reason people come to the Integrate is to get that all the updates uh, right from the horse's mouth, as you say in the English uh, proverb, like. Uh, uh, they're building a lot of things and, you know, like uh, uh, they, they want a platform to showcase and Integrate uh, turned out to be that platform for uh, Microsoft also to come and showcase uh, uh, their what they have done recently at some of the key updates. And the second uh, big thanks goes to the MVP community. There are a lot of folks out there like uh, they're hardcore influencers. Uh, they spend a lot of time on the uh, uh, MVP. For people who don't know what is MVP, it's a, it's a most valuable professional community. There are about uh, 20 to 30 people in the community focused on uh, primarily on, uh, uh, on integration and they help a lot as well. So if you look at the speakers uh, agenda, 50% uh, of them are uh, Microsoft speakers and the rest 50% are, uh, are Microsoft uh, or MVP speakers. So I really wanted to extend my thanks to the entire MVP uh, community. And the, one, the reason of why we started, uh, why we built uh, Integrate is to, uh, is to, you know, like if you look at some of the conferences like Build or, uh, 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 or any Microsoft conference, partner conference or anything, uh, it's very hard for, uh, to get the slots for uh, everybody to present everything, but given the vast nature of Microsoft, there, there's so many technologies and so many things for them to present. Even if you look at Build uh, 2021, I think there were only one or two sessions on uh, uh, integration focused uh, stuff. So that is what, one of the main reasons why we are still continuing uh, running Integrate to make it as a, one of the core uh, platform for uh, to for even Microsoft or community members to come and showcase, you know, like uh, some of the key case studies and the product updates and things that's focused on uh, uh, on uh, on uh, on Microsoft integration uh, stack. I also wanted to thank all of our sponsors as well. They also play a major role in uh, continue to uh, run this conference. So some of the uh, partners are repeated uh, sponsors for a, for, a, from, for a very long time. Uh, so they also kind of uh, support us to continue running this uh, event. Uh, you know, As you can imagine, it's not a, a, a small step. It takes about six to eight months for us to plan to, uh, end to end right from uh, organizing the agenda, simple things like the websites and promotions and everything. So we, we need a lot of support and uh, really thankful for everybody for supporting us in this, uh, continuing this journey. Like, uh, uh, you know, all this hard work, it, it comes down to this particular three days, right? You worked so hard for six to eight months and uh, now it's all about execution. And uh, I wish to thank uh, all of you uh, who, are, who make this uh, thing possible. And uh, I want to highlight some of the community-focused activities. We are always, you know, as a company, and it's a com it's a community-focused thing. So we got three good assets for people who are new and they are not aware of. So integration user group got a lot of content. There are about three hundred plus videos uh, uh, focused on uh, on anything with integration. That's for the last ten years, kind of uh, 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 kind of assets there. So you can it's free. You can go and uh, take, check it out. An integration playbook is mainly uh, uh, managed by Michael Stevenson, one of the MVPs. 
So here where he writes about top level playbooks of architectures and designs and stuff like that. So it's another thing focused on integration playbook. And serverless notes is more of a small uh, uh, nuggets kind of uh, helpful information in, you know, you get from uh, uh, little articles, uh, what tips and tricks kind of things. It's another good asset you can all uh, take advantage of. And uh, today I also wanted to highlight this uh, uh, this announcement. It's a kind of announcement. For the past year or so, we are working on this book called uh, Migrating to Bistux Server 2020. This came as a request from a lot of our customers. You know, they are in the migration journey uh, from previous versions anywhere from, you know, this 2013 or uh, to 2016, et cetera, they're migrating. And there is, there is no real definitive guide of, you know, like how to, when you're migrating, there are lots of uh, bits and pieces, articles here and there and blog posts. And so we thought it's one of the good thing to uh, build it up. So it's actually a physical book. It's not like an ebook or something. So we, a few years ago, we printed this book called uh, Bistock Ma Mapping Patterns written by Sandro as one of the really uh, popular books. In a similar way, we, have, uh, we, have, we are almost at the publishing stage at the moment. It's not yet uh, out now, but you know, in, the, in the platform, you'll see banners for this thing. So if you're interested, you're still, you know, if you're a Bistock server customer, I recommend, you know, just to register your interest. So when it's ready, we, we, you know, we, will, we will let you know, like when the hot copy will be, uh, will be available. And if you need any help, you know, during the EVA, during the uh, three days conference, if you're stuck with anything, the best place will be email event at bistock360.com. There are the team of people who are actually looking and responding to any queries, anything to do with the platform or any challenges you see. And also there are a few people like in the, within, the, within the platform. So they're just listed on the names. You can search them on the attendee list and you can actually find them and chat to them directly as well if you need any help uh, with the, uh, not able to connect or anything, any tech issues and uh, and things like that. And uh, with uh, having said that, I don't want to spend uh, too much of your time. And you know, uh, uh, I hope you enjoy the next uh, three days. Uh, let's get started. And, and welcome, welcome all of you again to the Integrate Twenty Twenty One conference. Thank you. Covey.com.